The movie Jaws came out in 1975, and since then, people have been terrified of sharks. Some people fear seeing a great white's head come out of their showers, not to mention the fear of running into one at your local pool. Of course, none of this is actually possible, but some other scary shark stuff is. Like, yes, sharks can attack boats. They probably won't sink one. It depends on the size of the shark and the size of the boat. Today, we're diving deep into the facts and myths about the sea's biggest predator. It was the year 1953. On a typical July morning, two fishers set out on their daily lobster harvest. They took their white-hulled dory out to sea off the coast of Cape Breton Island in Nova Scotia, Canada. Since it was the lobster season, the sea was dotted with several dories spread out across the water. But that day, something strange happened. As soon as they put the dory at sea, they noticed a large dorsal fin chasing after their boat. They were surprised to see that the shark would follow their boat's every move. For an entire week, they took out their white dory from the harbor, and the shark followed them around. Until one morning, as the men were alone at sea, the shark charged at full speed at the boat and smashed a seven-inch hole in its bottom. The boat turned over, and both men fell into the water. The shark didn't come after the men, though. Instead, it swam away and disappeared for good. To clarify, a dory is a small, fragile boat usually measuring 16 to 23 feet long. So how long did that shark need to be in order to sink it? Well, as soon as the boat was retrieved from the ocean, researchers found something interesting. One of the shark's teeth was found stuck in the hull. According to Harvard experts that analyzed the tooth, it most certainly belonged to a 12-foot white shark that weighed around 1,200 pounds. One thing intrigued scientists a whole lot. The great white didn't seem to be interested in the man aboard, but rather in the boat itself. The question is, why? Some people suppose that this great white followed the dory around because it was white, and the animal probably thought it was some big white mammal. It's not the first boat a shark has attacked. You see, sharks don't attempt to sink boats because they're mean and evil. Rather, it's due to murky waters and hard materials that make them mistake inanimate objects for their usual lunch menu. But that's not what we've learned from popular culture. In Jaws, the protagonist shark managed to poke several holes in the orca as it rammed the boat. The orca was a Nova Scotia-style fishing boat made out of wood planks. It wasn't a huge boat, so it seemed plausible that a great white could ram it. But according to Mythbusters, that's very far from the truth. A great white swimming at its maximum speed wouldn't be able to take down a medium-sized fishing vessel. The same goes for bigger boats. Some bull sharks or great whites can turn over smaller vessels though, like kayaks or small boats. If this happens, it's most likely because they think it's a sea mammal and nudge it before taking the first bite. No scientist can say for sure why they do this, only that it's usually a misunderstanding on behalf of the animal. The Shark Research Committee, a nonprofit scientific research organization, has documented a lot of shark attacks on inanimate objects and is trying to answer that question more thoroughly. So far, they've observed several attacks on objects such as crab trap buoys and inflatable float bags. The website has also registered two famous attacks on boats. The first one happened in 1959, and a shark left a tooth on the hull of a boat. Researchers later identified it as belonging to a 12-foot great white. The report of the other attack, which happened in 1989, claims that a boat was circled by a great white before the animal swam at the vessel at full speed and hit the boat several times. Of course, those who suffer the most from shark attacks and encounters aren't boats, it's surfers. As far as we know, surfers look like giant wobbly seals from the shark's perspective. According to the Shark Research Committee, there have been 41 confirmed shark attacks on surfers on the west coast of North America over the course of the last century. So should we be so afraid of sharks after all? Let's learn more about these magnificent sea creatures. 
Off the top of your head, how many shark species can you name? Four, eight, ten? Well, there are over 500 species of sharks swimming in the ocean. They vary from tiny specimens, about the size of a human hand, to up to 39-foot-long creatures. The largest species of shark are actually not great whites, but whale sharks. And even those are small compared to the great Megalodon. This ancient creature that lived around 20 million years ago reached an unimaginable length of 60 feet. By comparison, that's the same as two to three buses placed one after another. I wouldn't swim in Megalodon-infested waters even if you dared me, that's for sure. We know that sharks are very good hunters, but why is that so? Their bodies seem to have been strategically built for speed. Instead of having a bone skeleton, like us humans, sharks have a cartilage skeleton, which makes them much lighter and also super fast swimmers. Each species of shark hunts depending on its nutritional needs. So shark species that grow to an average of three feet have a diet based on fish. The ones that grow bigger start feeding off of bigger sea animals, such as sea lions and seals. Throughout their lives, some species of shark can shed over 30,000 teeth. Unlike humans, who were born with a set number of teeth in their jaws, sharks have an apparently limitless supply. In their defense, they do lose teeth pretty easily, as they can easily get stuck in their prey, for example. They also have multiple rows of teeth. The jaws of a great white can contain up to seven rows of teeth and can grow to be more than six inches long. And since we're speaking of great whites, the most feared shark species roaming the oceans, this is Ray. Ray is an adult white shark. He can swim up to 50 miles a day, so he needs a lot of fat in order to keep his body functioning. Funny thing about Ray, when he opens his jaws to hunt, his eyes roll back together with his head, so his sight is hindered when he's taking a bite. Now, he does like it when the water is murky, and underwater visibility is low. That's because it makes it harder for his prey to spot him coming. These conditions can make it easier for him to grab that yummy seal. But this can also make it easy for him to mistake a random boat for lunch and end up scaring some humans. Some Hollywood movies love to portray sharks as having superpowers. Although they're not innately cruel, one species of shark does have something that can be considered bizarre. Hammerhead sharks, one of the most dangerous species of sharks, have a sort of sixth sense. Inside their heads, they have electroreceptor organs called ampullae of Lorenzini. These organs allow sharks to detect the electromagnetic fields of all living things in the ocean. This ups their hunting abilities to another level. They can even find prey hidden in the sand because they sense its electromagnetic field. You should know one thing. If a shark lives in a balanced ecosystem, it won't feel the need to attack unknown things. These animals are curious though. So maybe we should cut them some slack when they bite a piece off a random boat. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.